we know in XRD analysis sometimes the peak shifts toward the left or toward the right and sometimes we get broad peak like this so in today's video I'm going to explain that why we get broader peak in XRD analysis we know this is basically the crystal lattices and these are basically the diffraction line or XRD peaks so if we have no strain in the material these are basically the pure material and these are basically the lattice uh, plane here where the atoms are located here and we know that the distance between two planes are basically called entropy plane of spacing and it is represented by d naught. there is no strain so we get a perfect peak uh, position or perfect short peak in xrd analysis now this peak broaden because of the micro strain we know what is basically micro strain micro strain mean when the strain is not uniform in a material so that strain is called micro strain for example uh, we we know in material there are grain one grain another grain in here another grain so micro strain basically varies uh, from grain to grain in this grain one type of uh, strain in this grain another type of strain in this grain another type of strain in another grain another type of strain so the strain is basically changing or varying throughout the material let's see here uh, this is basically that old material but when there is a micro strain so this means that the two forces are on the from the top side and one is from so this material behave like a bend, bending material it is just like a bridge or something so we know that uh, on the top of this material uh, there, there is a tension we know because there is a tension here so because of that tension the d is basically larger than the original d naught the entrepreneur spacing is greater than the uh, original entrepreneur spacing at the bottom side there is basically compression so this means that it basically decrease this entrepreneur spacing and this is less than the original d naught the original d naught there are some places where we have this d is basically equal to d naught so you can see here there is a distribution of internal planar spacing distribution throughout the material and because of those distributions we can see these small peaks this one small peak is from one grain this another peak is from another grain another short peak is from another grain grain another short peak is from another grain and similarly if there are 100 grains with different orientation with different uh, strains so we will have different 100 different interplanar spacing and this is why we will get 100 short peaks but xrd will give us overall and there is no other options for us because uh, the, the 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 two theta values here this is basically the, the xrd is here the two theta values here you see the two theta so once we have various positions here this means the two theta value is basically varying here this is understood from uh, Bragg's law that the, when, when we have varying theta we peak positions so this means various entrepreneur spacing so because of that varying uh, entrepreneur spacing we get different peak positions and there is no other options we are restricted to broaden the peaks because the system is not allowed to do other things but what, what it has to do it has to broaden the peak and this is how and why micro strain when the strain is non-uniform in a material make the XRD peak to broaden there is no other options <clears throat> so this <clears throat> so this we have proof that how does the XRD peak broaden we prove that due to micro strain micro strain when the strain are not uniform not uniform strain that is that this the peak broaden because of this micro strain in the material now the peak move i don't know about this one <laughs> but there are two things here the peak shape must change here you see here peak shape must change the, the initially it was a, a sharp peak and later it is just broad like this the peak shape must change because of the micro strain the second important thing is basically the d is varying here throughout the material because we 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 we, we know that the, the, the because of that uh, kind of non-uniform strain 
uh, the d never remains constant. So when d is not remains constant from Bragg's law, we know that uh, this uh, from Bragg's law, this that uh, the theta will also vary. So the theta is basically what is the theta? Basically, this is the peak position here. So when the peak position is varying, we will get broader peaks here. This is we prove that the XRD peak broaden because of micro strain. Micro strain mean when the strains are not uniform. 